Are you ready to transfer your WordPress website from one host to another without a hitch? Whether you are upgrading to a better host or moving your website from one hosting to another host for better control, this guide will walk you through every single step with ease. So stay tuned till the end for some essential tips to avoid common pitfalls during your website migration. So now we will follow these three simple steps. In the first step, we will export and download all the files from the existing WordPress website. So this is our existing WordPress website and we are going to move this website into our new server. So this is our new server. It's a fresh WordPress installation here. There is no other content. A quick tip before doing anything, make a complete backup of your WordPress website. This will ensure you can restore your site if anything goes wrong. Now I have to log in first here and then I will export all the files and content from these websites and download from here. First of all, I have to log in. and add user and password click logged in now I'm going to hover over the plugins and click add new and type here all in one WP migration and hit enter so now I'm going to click and install this plugin click install now click activate to export the database and all the files from this website, I have to navigate to the all in on WP migration and click on export. Click export to site and click file. And it will take some time to prepare the download file here. Now click on download this file and the total size is 491 megabytes and click download now and save so it will take some time to download our file now let's log in into our new wordpress website where we are going to import so in the second steps we are going to import them into our new website let's log in into our new site add username and password click logged in now click add new from the plugins directory and install the same plugin all in one WP migration and hit enter. Click install now and click activate. Hover over the all in one WP migration here and click import. So here you can see I have the upload file limits which is 524 megabytes. If you have less than this limit then you can simply follow this guide to increase the upload limit from your hosting account. So they have a step by step guide here. You can follow uh, number 3 which is uh, useful. You can easily do it. But if there is anything else or any other ways like the WP configure file if your hosting allows this then you can also follow this step as well so we have successfully downloaded our file here you can see it's downloaded and i'm going to click on import from file and select this file click open and it will take some time to upload the files here and now click proceed And now it shows here your site has been imported successfully. So click finish and visit your website. So as you can see we have transferred our website, our all the files and images and everything from this WordPress website or this domain to our new domain here and it's working without having any issue but there are some key things that you have to keep in your mind. So if you follow these steps or process on your end, please make sure that you have to log in into your website, the new site where you have transferred all the files. And during the login process or login steps, you have to use the old user and password that has been used on this domain name. The previous password that is uh, used for this domain, it will not gonna work. You have to use the old password that you have used here on this website. So that's very important. 
Now the third step is to verify and flush the permalink. So we have verified the front page, but if I click on any links here, let's see whether it's working or not. It's working perfectly. Now click on home or the logo. It will take us to the home page. And now let's log in into the website. And I have to use the old user and password from the previous site. Logged in. And hover over the settings and go to the permalinks. And select the post name here again and click save changes. So here flash the permalink and it should work now without having any issues. So now if I visit our website and click on any pages it's working perfectly congratulations you have successfully transferred your wordpress website to a new host remember preparation and testing are the key to a smooth transition like this guide hit the subscribe button and press the bell notification icon for more wordpress tips and tutorials and comments below if you have any questions or if there is a topic that you'd like me to cover on the next part. Until then, happy hosting. Thank you so much.